Hey everyone, it's Claire. Welcome back for another Web Dev Wednesday. Today we are doing something a little bit different in that I have already done the coding and I'm doing a little voice over here, kind of like a speed build, a speed website build, if you will. So today we are styling a navigation menu um, and I'm doing it as a bar like on the left side of the screen, which we'll see sometimes on a website. The navigation's on the side and the main content is like on the right and it's not half and half as you will see when we get into it. So here I'm just building the HTML document. Um, I'm using an unordered list as my navigation menu and the link is just to a pound symbol which doesn't go anywhere on the page. It would go to like an ID later on in the page but we're just using it as a filler right now so we can style a link as we would if it were an actual navigation link. And I'm just sort of doing some random fillers here, things that would be on a navigation site or a na navigation menu on a site. And you can see over here, that's our basic one. And we're going to start styling. So I start just by moving over our um, heading just to be more realistic layout. Um, and then as you can see, I did an ID of nav for the unordered list and I am removing the bullet points. This selector here where it's the nav space li is called a combinator because it combines two selectors and the space is the most common it's just a descendant so within the or unordered list called nav select the list items within that list item select the a tag that's the targeting selector over there and the text decoration removes the underline i'm just spacing it out a little bit with padding and margin and uh, this uh styling the navigation bar is going to be a lot of trial and error as far as spacing goes just between the list item itself and the link. As you'll see when I start putting colors in here, the spacing is going to be affected based on which element you are targeting. But um, a new feature here we have is a border radius, which just curve rounds the corners of um, an element with a border. And I just did the same color border because I, I I wanted like the whole, I wanted to be like a button basically. The A tag becomes a button when you give it color and round it like that. And I'm putting them in block display so I can change the width here. And my spacing got messed up when I did that because I'm changing the display a little bit. So I'm just going to fiddle around with that until it is laid out the way I want it to. And later on I will resize the window which will then demonstrate why I'm doing percent as my um, how I'm measuring the width because if you're on a big screen you know I want it to still be that corner and not be super tiny whereas if it's a small screen I want it to be a lot smaller and here's a fun thing we're bringing in that hover pseudo class that we talked about last week so that when you are hovering over each item in this navigation list it looks different so you can see which one you're hovering on which you'll see on a lot of websites and I think it's a neat feature that you can do just with CSS. You don't need any fancy JavaScript or anything to have it look different when you are doing different things to it. And I'm gonna go into a little bit more complicated here. This is something that you could definitely do with JavaScript, just with hide and sliding and stuff, but I'm using all CSS to hide and show a submenu with hover. So I'm just building the submenu over here, just a couple of categories that could be under the blog section. Say this is a website that has a lot of posts in various topics so it has a sub menu and when we go back into style it I'm going to do my normal things where I remove the bullet point and change the color just to set it apart a little bit before we get to the exciting goodness that is the hover show so I'm using these descendant combinators again you see I'm targeting the A tag within the list item, within the UL, within the nav. So those are each button of the submenu there. And I'm just picking some colors that I think are going to complement the rest of the menu pretty well. And you don't have to use the um, names of colors. You can customize it a lot more with hexadecimals or RBGA, that kind of thing. But since brackets gives me the names in a little list, that's what I just do in these. Um, so as you can see, I set the display to that um, unordered list within the unordered list called nav. I set the display to none, so it is not showing at all on the main site. And then I'm going to try and target hovering just that blog button. And I um, actually did this wrong. You'll see me change it in a little bit. Um, I don't need the ID there. And it's actually better to do it the way I end up doing it, which is using another combinator, but not the descendant one. It's a more specific one called child. So. Um, I figured out pretty soon here where I use the 
um, right angle. So it's like the greater than symbol. So the UL that is a child of, and I need to select the list item within the nav menu. So that's what I need to select to hover. Here I figure it out. <laughs> so hovering on the list item makes the child UL go to display block. So just a couple finishing touches before I demonstrate what the whole site does. Um, just getting a more specific hover here so that everything changes color when I hover. Anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to cut off here since um, the site has been built and you see the finished product. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. Um, give it a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe so you don't miss next week's Web Dev Wednesday. All right, you guys, I will see you next time.